Uh, thank you very much for the kind introduction. Uh, Dr. S. V. Muzumdar, sir, the Chancellor of Symbiosis International University. Dr. Rajini Gupte, the Vice Chancellor of this university. Uh, Dr. Sharvari Shukla, uh, the woman behind this uh, very small and dynamic institute called Symbiosis Statistical Institute. Uh, guests who have been invited uh, for this uh, statistical festival, speakers, and of course, faculty members and my dear students. Uh, Dr. Sharvari, it gives me great pleasure to be here today. And I still remember three years back when this Dr. Muzumdar sir decided to establish the Symbiosis Statistical Institute. And he will probably tell us the story of why he wanted to establish a, such an institute. Uh, but I for sure knew that there is one person in Symbiosis who was working in the Symbiosis Institute of Health Sciences who was very, very passionate about not just statistics, but more, I think, more passionate about health sciences. And I invited Dr. Sharvari to interact with Dr. Muzumdar sir. And that was the day when she was supposed to take over this small institution, which she's really made it so big and large. I think the size really doesn't matter is so true with the SSI because the kind of identity Sharvari that you have created in such a sm uh, short span from 2018 onwards is something that uh, you know other larger institutions of symbiosis need to uh, study and need to replicate also. Uh, this Symbiosis Statistical Festival is again one very innovative idea of celebration, uh, which Dr. Sharvari thought of. And I'm very excited about it because I know that statistics is almost like a mother discipline. When in medicine, I'm a medical doctor, and so in medicine, we talk about uh, surgery, medicine, and OBGY, obstetrics and gynecology, as mother disciplines, and then there are the other disciplines. Likewise, I think in this era, statistics is like a mother discipline. And I personally feel that, uh, Sharvari, you should offer uh, at least a one credit or a two credits course for every institution of symbiosis, no matter which discipline the students are studying it. Uh, whether it's medicine, where, of course, biostatistics is taught and it's of most relevance uh, to uh, management, again, where statistics forms an important part. But even in institutions like the liberal arts or the culinary arts or you know any other institution of symbiosis, uh, you must teach, uh, you know, at least the basics of statistics to every student. Because earlier on, uh, most of our decisions were more, uh, more intuitive. You know, what we felt in our mind, we did. But that's no longer true today. Our decisions are based on data and our decisions are, are based on the analysis of the data. Even at our own university, earlier on, many of the decisions were taken more intuitively and because we felt like doing so. But that's no longer true. I'm sure the vice chancellor will agree with me that data is so important, even for us in the education sector, that uh, you know whether it's, uh, whether it's promoting some of our institutions in a region or in a country, it all depends on the data and the analysis of the data that is supplied to the vice chancellor and me. And therefore, uh, uh, we in fact plan to establish a data management department at the university, which is so very relevant. And in most international universities, they have such a department and none, uh, no decision in a university is taken without the inputs of this data management department or data management center. And I've been telling Sharvari this because she does supply and provide students uh, who pass out of the SSI or work on projects to most of the corporate uh, sector. But Sharvari, we also need your students to work for the Symbiosis International University. As a medical doctor, I know biostatistics was taught to us uh, when we learned the preventive and social medicine, PSM, a subject which was uh, in for others to understand the public health and a subject that as medicos, we royally ignored. We just wanted to study that to pass in the exam. But now with the, you know, with the relevance of public health and with this pandemic having affected the whole world, the more relevance of studying public health and along with public health data, and along with data, obviously biostatistics or medical statistics has found its, uh, its importance. And I always feel that I wish I had studied this more seriously. I would have probably been a better person to analyze things even now. At the corporate level, of course, we all know that uh, you know, data analytics is the key to decision-making and productivity. But has it really percolated in other sectors is something that we need to see. And I'm very glad that Sharvari, you've included a lot of this teaching or the say, different sectors, whether it's finance, whether it's agriculture, uh, you know, um, and several medical statistics and so many others that you have included in your curriculum. I would also request you to include, you know, educational statistics, how to analyze data that comes from, you know, whether it's students data, whether it's, you know, data of faculty, I mean, several kinds of data that we actually have with us 
and we didn't, don't know really how to analyze it and how to bring in decision making and productivity, even in educational institutions. With over 1,000 universities, uh, you know, almost 1,000 universities in India and more than 40,000 colleges in India, I think educational statistics will find its own way and, of course, even find employment uh, for, your, for your students. And therefore, I think this is one area that you really need to teach and include in your various specializations uh, at your institution. Uh, I'll just give you a small example and end like what the Vice Chancellor has given. Uh, when Dr. Muzumdar sir uh, saw this movie called Anandi Gopal, and he decided and he got inspired to establish uh, the Symbiosis Medical College for Women, it wasn't really just an emotional inspiration that he got from the movie. But he read and then found out that there are only 17% women doctors, practicing women doctors in India. And he felt that with a movie that inspired him and with the data that he had in his hand, why not create a symbiosis medical college for women so that we have more doctors who will practice in India, more women doctors who will practice in India. Now, if you look at the admission status of what it is in most medical colleges across the country, more than 60% girls join medical colleges. So it's not that girls don't join medical colleges, but why don't they practice? So whereas we have analyzed through our statistics that there are more than 60% women who, or girls who join medicine, but only 17% practice. Sharvari, we need to find out where is this gap? What are those factors that don't allow women to really practice? So I always say that this establishment of the Symbiosis Medical College was through an inspirational movie. Uh, it, was, it came out from the heart of Dr. Muzumdar sir. But it was definitely supported by the statistics that he read and he researched. And now I think it's more challenging for us to ensure that all these 150 girls who take admission to the Symbiosis Medical College for Women also practice medicine because that's more relevant to us than really just getting in girl students into the medical fraternity. So these are areas where Sharvari, you really need to do a little bit more research on and find out what are, what are those factors that don't allow girls to practice after they've passed out their MBBS or their post-graduation and where can we mitigate this gap and what can we do? So I think there are so many more areas that you can really take up and uh, you know we'll be so happy to support you um, in, uh, in, in, in every aspect. I know you're also going to move into a college campus because you all were actually in a corporate center, the Indi India, uh, the, uh, Pune, uh, the International Center of Pune, which was also very prestigious. But now that you will move into the Senapati Bapat Road hub of the college campus, uh, which is the oldest campus that Dr. Muzumdar sir established symbiosis on, uh, I'm sure you will find more avenues of such different uh, uh, you know, uh, aspects of using uh, statistics uh, and the tools of statistics for analysis. So wish you all the very best. And I'm also like the Vice Chancellor, very, very eager to listen to wonderful speakers. My friend Abhay Jaire is going to speak, Dr. Sanjay Dhande is going to speak. And I think uh, Dr. Jamkar is going to speak that session, which I will definitely attend because it relates to uh, my own uh, area of passion, which is medicine. So thank you and all the best to you. Sir.